Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a video about my most recent styling tool purchase, which is the Beachweaver S1.25. It's this bad boy right here. I have already done a video about the original Beachweaver, my first purchase, the Beachweaver S1. I bought this guy because I want a different style of curl and also because Beachweaver just launched dual voltage. So I wasn't able to bring this one with me while I was traveling to Europe and going back to France, whereas this one is going to follow me everywhere. And I also mainly purchased it to do my hair for my upcoming wedding. To give you a quick overview, both Beach Waivers serve a very different purpose. I, will, I find that with the Beach Waiver S1, I get a tighter and more defined curl. I prefer the look the next day. When, once you sleep on it, it's absolutely beautiful and it also allows me to space out my shampoos a little bit. So I can go like three days with curls thanks to this guy. Whereas this one, I absolutely love. I've been using it non-stop recently. It's a wider barrel, so I get looser curls. It's more of a blowout finish. Get your, your beach wave look on the first day. Like for me, it looks perfect as soon as I use it. The next day, I find that the curls tend to go away. I don't have as much longevity with my curls with this guy, but I just absolutely love how it looks as soon as I use it. I'm gonna curl my hair with both of these guys two different times just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So show a video of what it looks like on the next day with both of these. So stay tuned. what it looks like right away and obviously I'm going to want to brush it all out. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to document Maddie's hair. She has no more hair. This is basically what my hair looks like right after curling it with the Beach Waver S125. As you can see, it's a very loose curl and I find it pretty natural. So this is what my hair looks like the day after having curled with the Beach Waver S125. You can see it's not really a curl anymore, but more of a bend with a blow up finish. I like it like that as well, it's more natural. You need to put hairspray in it so that it will um, be in there for the day, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with the Beach Waver S1, the original one inch barrel. So you can have a look at how the curls uh, turn out different. So I just finished curling my hair with the S1. The curls are really really defined, a little bit like Goldilocks. I'm gonna brush them out, try and break them a bit. As I said earlier in the video, I really like the look um, the next day once I've slept on it for a night. It tends to look a bit more natural. So yeah, this is the look. This is how my hair turned out on the second day of doing curls with the Beach Waver S1. Uh, the curls are not as defined anymore, it's a more relaxed look, more of a Beach Wave look. Yeah, I honestly haven't done it any justice at all. I went running, it started raining, I had a shower, so this, I kind of wet my hair. The curls still managed to hang in there for a bit. I'm pretty happy with the results. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. Thank when you. When I mentioned Maddie earlier in my video, here's Miss Maddie. <laughs> See you then. Not much hair. I don't know what I can curl. Maybe, maybe your eyebrows. I'm not obviously gonna do it. Bye.